are uh, talking about folk art so uh, for how long have you been dealing with uh, folk art <laughs> dealing in the sense i've been practicing this art since last uh, 40 years <laughs> i think because uh, i've grown up like that and uh, uh, it's since last uh, 20 year uh, 21 years we've been exhibiting this art uh, in almost uh, we've had almost 100 uh, exhibitions all over the world and uh, more than 200 workshops in different schools uh, colleges uh, in my uh, under me there are so many uh, students i have trained them so uh, that's like a passion it's like you know it's not something uh, i never realized that uh, the word artist that term artist uh, i never used to relate with that because uh, it we never felt like we were artists or anything special about it because we very naturally grew up into in that uh, whole environment that uh, painting was my uh, passion so uh, my parents tell me that as a small kid i used to just keep scribbling uh, everywhere and uh, as a young uh, uh, student also i used to uh, i have two boards uh, like one board for my architecture and one board for my painting so that's how it has always been there Uh, during the workshop today with the children you told uh, that it was more practiced by women it was a way of life it was earlier uh, done on uh, uh, the walls so uh, how did this art grow up to be uh, i mean from from the uh, i mean inside of house you know it was earlier a cobar yeah. used to be painted in cobar room so how did it come out to be uh, i mean how did it evolve to be an art uh i call this art uh, first of all this art is one of the only art uh, of our country which has been uh, practiced by women evolved by women and preserved by women so it's one of the few uh, only women art and only women have kept it alive so these are oral it's a oral tradition so uh, you know it i call this art as journey of women from small courtyards to uh, international museums all over the world so uh, it's not difficult uh, uh, like uh, this art is uh, now become totally contemporary contemporary always misunderstood that you know uh, contemporary is not that suddenly you make something new it is something which comes from the journey of that person you know so it is uh, one of the most sought out of uh, sought out art right now because the best part uh, the recent uh, observation i can see is that all the contemporary galleries are exhibiting mithila painting and folk art so I, i it shows its popularity national awarded mithila painting expert manisha jha collaborated with indian school of design to organize madhubani painting masterclass at madhubani art center new delhi this was a fund raising event for pinaki organization to facilitate girl education to find more information visit indianschooldesign.com and other social media handles